moves, I need new ways to think I'm in search of food, if truth hurts, would you rather be hurt or fool? Long as it's purposeful What's going on everybody, it's David Abraham, CEO of The Lunch Table And I have some advice for you all for post-grad I graduated Towson University, May 2016, and a major in communications and the first thing I want to tell you all is to breathe. If you ever take an extra semester of college, I know it's a little bit more money, you know, you feel sucked into school, take the extra semester and do what you can with it. Make the most out of your school experience. School is the only time that you will be around all of the people, your friends that long, people, same people your age. That's the best time to start if you're an entrepreneur, best time to start a business is in school. Everyone in school has around the same mindset of everyone's grinding. They'll support you over somebody, some stranger on the street that you don't know just because you go to that school. The second thing is 98% <laughs> of the people that you see at school every day, you will not see when you graduate. I promise you, you will not see them. So all of the peer pressure that comes along with being in school, you know, trying to dress to impress, all of that stuff, it's for a short time period. It's really for a short time period. The third thing that I want to tell you all is your habits. You have to clean up your habits in college because it does affect you long term. Eating habits. You may, you know, turn up, go out to a party, go to McDonald's after 3 a.m., go to sleep, wake up, don't go to the gym, you know, just keep living your life. You're probably gaining weight at that point, and it's, it's, a, it's a terrible eating habit. Like, you eat bad, terrible foods in college. Face it, you do. Try to clean, try to get at least 15 minutes of 15 to 30 minutes of exercise in. You have access to a gym. Use the gym. You already paid for it. Use the gym. Spending money. Okay. So in college, we're all broke. We know. I was making, I think, 12000 a year in college. That's poverty level in real life. Just want to let you know. You all are probably in poverty. Understand that. Don't go out spending all your money on liquor, weed turnups, eventually that is gonna come to a dead end. The job hunt, the job hunt when you graduate, it is real, that's not a joke. I was luckily uh, enough to find a job within three or four months after graduation. It takes people longer than that. Some people get it right when they get out, some people take a lot longer. Take your time with it. Your resume, stack your resume now. Go get help with your resume. Meet as many people as possible. The connections that you make now can make or break your long term. You're only one connect away from turning your life from a total 180. It takes one person to take a chance on you to take your life from here to there instantly. All of the hoes. All of the girls and boys that feel as though nobody wants them because they've been around a little bit. Trust me, it restarts when you graduate. You have a whole new leaf. Face it. The person that you meet <laughs> after you graduate outside of that is not going to be paying attention to how many bodies you have. You know, this, that, and the third. Who you banged at Towson, who you banged at anywhere. They already are past that. They're looking at more than that. So you do start a new leaf. There's hope for you all, too. Again, it's David J. DeVirgo with David J's rant for the lunch table. That way. No matter who you are, just taking this food for thought, we at the lunch table. David J. DeVirgo.